What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be doing the weekly recap of the stamp modeling program. This week was crazy. So we had some giant earnings release, we had an interest rate hike, and we had a negative GDP report. So in one way, we are in a recession, but the stock market popped up regardless. So that was awesome to see. So with that being said, let's get right into this week's recap. Um, a lot of stocks blasted up, which is pretty good for our swing plays. Um, the only new play from this week was the TOST short put. Um, that is looking pretty good so far. TOST popped up a little bit on Friday, so that was awesome. So uh, that's nice. Um, it will take some time for this play to fully play out as the expiration is August 19th. But besides that, there's not really too much other information related to that trade. Um, switching over into the bot plays from this week, the bot did pretty good. Um, there were a couple interesting plays, so we'll talk about that in a couple seconds. But um, the first play of the week was with ExxonMobil. That popped for just under 29%. Um, the worst play of the week was with Intel, which was on Tuesday. This play did not really pop. The best play of the week was with GLD on the 27th, which was Wednesday. This popped for over 107%. And then the plays on Thursday and Friday were interesting. So to start off, we had three GLD plays back to back to back, which we've we've never had never had this before. So that was interesting. Um, the plays on Thursday and Friday, they didn't pop too much. Um, yeah, I mean, they didn't really pop too much, but they didn't really fall either. As we can see, like, on Thursday, let me just zoom in. On Thursday, we saw, like, a nice, like, uptrend like this with GLD, and that's why the play popped for 107%. Uh, on Thursday and Friday, it was... It was like a slight uptrend, but it, was, it wasn't really anything too crazy. So it was more just flat movement than anything else. But overall, overall, it was a pretty good week, though, especially given the volatility that we saw in the market as a whole. And then the Theta plays are, are uh, you know, they're doing great as always. Short puts are an amazing, amazing strategy. Uh, you have the opportunity to buy a solid company at a good price, and you get to do all of that while being paid. So shorting puts is awesome. Um, if you are not familiar with the short put strategy, definitely reach out to Tom, Hunter, or myself, and we can definitely help you out. Um, short, put, short puts are called out in the Swings channel, as well as the Premium Selling channel. Um, in my opinion, it is one of the best, if not the best strategies out there. Um, just the main thing is you have to make sure you're doing it with solid companies. You have to make sure that the strike prices you are shorting are a price that you are comfortable uh, owning that stock at. So either way, short puts are doing great still. Um, the market is blasting up, which is awesome to see. It's been uh, quite a while since we saw this sort of awesome movement. So uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Besides that, have an amazing weekend.